guys, this is Jen and today I wanted to share with you this year's prom look that I prepared for you. So I was thinking I wanted to do something a little bit different than I've done the last couple of years and try a black and silver smoky eye. I know black is such a huge color this year, so I've thought maybe a few of you might have black dresses, but this look will also work great with navy blue, green, red, any other color basically. So I hope you guys enjoy watching and if you'd like to see this look, then stay tuned. I'm starting off by applying my hourglass primer since this is going to be a long event. We want to make sure that the makeup lasts all night. So just apply this, really concentrating on this main T zone area. Next I'm taking my Makeup Forever HD foundation. This foundation doesn't have any SPF so it's good for special occasions because you don't want the sunscreen to bounce back in photos. Make sure you also blend this into your neck and chest and anywhere else above your dress so that everything blends together really seamlessly. Next I'm taking my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer and I'm just going to cover up any other spots. If you have a last minute zit that you really need to cover up, just put an extra layer of concealer on it, wait about 5 seconds for it to settle and dry just a little bit, and then take your finger and just blend out around the edges. That way it has the highest concentration of concealer right over the spot. Before adding concealer to my eyes, I'm going to take my eyelid primer and put that all around my eyes. I'm also concentrating a lot of this primer underneath my lower lash line because that's where a lot of makeup tends to smudge, I find, at least on me. So I'm really going to apply that so that my eyeshadow stays in place. Next, I'm taking my Tarte Creaseless Concealer in Medium and I'm going to cover my under eye circles. I waited to do this until after my primer because the primer will actually help the concealer to stay in place as well. So just pat this on the under eye area. You don't want to swipe too much and uh, move around the product since we want more coverage and we don't want to damage any of our eyelid skin. Now that my face is done, I'm going to set that with my Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. Really make sure you set the concealer underneath your eyes as well. Next I'm taking my Benefit Hoola Bronzer and I'm going to use this to contour my face. So I'm just taking this from my ears here, pulling it toward underneath my cheekbones and down my jawline. Contouring is going to make your face look even better in photos. Next I'm going to apply my blush and I'm using Tarte Blissful Blush. It's a nice matte color that is still kind of a warm coral shade. And this is really great because matte colors are just going to look a lot more photogenic. Generally looking back in your photos you want to look really classic and well put together and not too shiny. So I prefer a matte blush. So I'm starting near my ears on top of my cheekbones and I'm just going to pat this color forward. I'm applying it right above where the contour line was just applied. Now I'm just going to take this silver eyeliner and I'm going to apply this in the inner third of my upper eyelid. You can also use a white eyeliner or another light colored eyeliner instead of silver. So I'm going to take this sugar pill loose eyeshadow called Tiara and using a really small brush, I'm just going to pat this on top of the silver color that we laid down before. I'm also blending out at the edges. I know this looks kind of crazy, but I did the light color first because it's always easier to add dark onto a light shade than adding light over a dark shade. So now I'm going in with my black pencil eyeliner. This is by Milani. And I'm just going to apply this on the outer half of my eyelid and I'm using this as a base for my eyeshadow that's to come. I'm just applying this as if it's a really thick winged eyeliner. Then I'm going to blend out the edges with a synthetic brush. Now I'm taking this color slate from the Lorac Pro palette and I'm just going to apply this in between the silver and the black base color right here. And just gently blend these two together. Now I'm taking this black eyeshadow. Using the same brush, I'm just going to apply this to the outer corner, pull this shade up into a little wing, and then I'm just going to bring in the shade up into the crease area right here. To soften the blending, I'm just taking this taupe shade, and using a small blending brush, I'm just applying this to the very top rim of where I applied my shadow. I'm just using that to blend into my eyelid. Now I'm taking this matte cream eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this underneath the brow bone. The matte shade won't be competing with any of the sparkliness going on right here and it also won't flash back in photography so it'll 
Brighten up the eyes in a really subtle way without looking like too much. Next, I'm applying my Wet n Wild Gel Eyeliner. I like gel eyeliner because it's more waterproof, which is really important for instances like this. For the outer corners, we're going to give it a strong wing. Just connect the edges together like that. And I'm also going to bring this onto the lower lash line, just using little strokes so I can really work that into the lashes. We're going to make it a little bit thicker near the outer half and then as we bring it in it's going to get a little thinner. And at the outer edge I'm going to blend this into the lower half of the wing as well. I'm taking that taupe eyeshadow again and I'm just going to blend this down. And this is also going to set that eyeliner. So this is what the eyeshadow should look like before any lashes or mascara is added. To give it a tiny bit more shine, I'm adding this Tony Moly glitter. I'm just going to dab this on right in the inner corners. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. I'm using Urban Decay Cannonball Mascara. You're going to want to apply generous coats to your lower lash line because you really want to balance out the weight of the entire look. Now I'm going to apply these thick false eyelashes. Make sure you really get this well placed on the inner and outer corners because that's where it tends to lift the most often. Now I'm just going to fill in my brows with my Leoelli Artist Eyebrow Pencil. So since I have such a strong eye, I'm going to fill it a little bit darker than I normally do. I'm also going to create a slightly sharper arch. Since we want our lipstick to last all day, I'm using a lip liner. This is Urban Decay's Pencil in Illegal. And I'm going to fill in my lips completely. Next, I'm going to apply a lipstick color that's pretty close to my natural lip color because my eyes are so strong, I don't really want a lipstick color to compete with that. So I'm using Too Faced La Creme Lipstick in Spice Spice Baby. Now you can just go with these lips or you can kick it up an extra notch. I'm going to take this MAC Dazzle Glass in Love Alert and apply it on top of the lipstick. So this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up the video and add it to your favorites. And to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to also subscribe to this channel. I have a couple other prom looks that I've done in the past, which you can check out right here and here. And also have an amazing, happy, and safe prom. Make lots of memories. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. This is Jen and bleh. I'll cut in the black part. Now I'm taking black eyeshadow. I think I have to sneeze. I want to go with closer to my which is or so nervous about prom. It's just lipstick. It's just prom. I've been through this three times. It's okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> overpower it. I feel like my mouth was doing like we'll try that again. Yeah, who's Katrina. Also, it's yours because I was not inside. Ah! And I'm wearing, and I'm, gr and why is this line so hard? <laughs> I'm doing this because the that looks close to my to my nap. Oh. Was that an animal? A car or a bird? Wait, a bird is an animal. <laughs> Bless you. Is that a bird? Is that a bird? Or car. Bye. <laughs> That's not creepy. <laughs> Bye.